Hi there. Today, we're going to walk through in this video how to write a journal entry, but not just a journal entry. I'm also going to show you a specific thinking process that you want to practice in every video you watch on this channel. It will help you a lot because this is one of the places where students of accounting tend to get stuck is how to translate word problems into an actual journal entry. So let's get started. Okay, welcome back. Today we're going to walk through the thinking process of writing journal entries and this is probably the hardest thing to learn in accounting and I'll show you exactly why that is in a moment. In accounting classes, typically you will find word-based problems and so you're not used to thinking of business in these terms and you, you know, you'll see the words and you're like, how do I translate this? into an actual account name. I, I don't know how to do that, so I'm going to show you how. The hardest part of this process is exactly deciding what accounts you'll want to use by deciphering these word problems. And so this video is going to walk you through a very specific thinking process in your mind. And please remember, your journal entries must balance. So if you have a debit of $10,000, you have to have credits that equal that of $10,000. So here's our example that we're going to walk through. A business owner goes to Staples and purchases $1,000 worth of supplies on account on May 1st. The first thing we have to ask ourselves is, has a financial event taken place? And the answer to that question is yes. Now on my website, if you look down below in the description box, you'll see that there is a uh, download place on my website that you can actually go and pull the blank example so that you can kind of walk through this and you can practice it on your own later on if you so desire to. The next thing is what accounts are we going to use? This is this is exactly where the problem is in accounting. For most students this is where they get stuck. And as we look at this particular example we want to look at okay so I'm underlining for you and highlighting in red what our accounts should be. So one of them is supplies because that is what we have gone to get. We've gone to get some supplies for our business. The other part is the on account. On account needs to translate in your mind into, for this example, into accounts payable. So anytime you see on account, if you're going to purchase something, if you're buying something for your business, then it on account means accounts payable. So the two accounts that we will want to use are supplies and accounts payable. The next thing you want to ask yourself is, do I have more or less of supplies? Well, I have more of them is the answer. So think increase. We want we have more or an increase in our supplies account. Number four, do we have more or less accounts payable? We have more. So again, think increase. Finally, we use our T accounts to check our logic. All right, so here we go. If I have more of supplies, which is an asset, the normal balance is a debit, if I'm going to have more of it, I will have to debit it, okay? So $1,000 goes into the debit side of this asset account called supplies. I also have more accounts payable. And since the normal balance is a credit, to have more of it, I would credit that account. And poof, voila, my journal entry, if I were to write it out, I would have a debit, to supplies, a credit, to accounts payable, and my journal entry will balance. The key to this whole process is being able to learn how to decipher what these words are telling you and translating that into what account name you want to use. And then you can check the debit and credit logic based on what you know about the classifications of these accounts 
and everything. So if you look down below, please go. One of the things you want to download for all exercises that we do on this channel is a uh, spreadsheet that actually has a simplified chart of accounts on it. And on that simplified chart of accounts, it will list for you what the normal balance is, it will tell you what financial statement it's supposed to end up on eventually, and it will tell you whether you debit or credit the account to increase it or decrease it. It'll, it's one of your best friends in accounting. So please go download some of these blank templates and some of these tools that will help you with this channel and with these videos, and I will see you again next time. Thanks.